Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about purchase requisition and its creation in the SAP system. So let's understand what is a purchase requisition. A purchase requisition is a request made to the purchasing department of a company to procure goods or materials. So this is an internal document and it remains in the organization. The vendor does not know that there is a purchase requisition created and if we talk about the creation, it can be created manually or via MRP run in SAP. Now in SAP, a purchase requisition might need to be approved and released if there is a release strategy in place. So once it is released, the PR can be modified but only to a limited extent. And purchase requisitions can be created for the following procurement types that is standard, subcontracting, consignment and service. Now, if I talk about purchase requisition, this is a typical example of a purchase requisition wherein we have the material, we have the quantity, we have the delivery date, material group and plant. And these are various tabs which we will show you inside the system when we do the demo. So, material data the quantities if i want information about quantities i have this tab if i want to know the sources of supply i have this tab and we have various other tabs wherein we have useful information while creating a purchase requisition so me51n for creation 52 for editing and 53n for display so we are in the sap screen now to create a purchase requisition we need to remember the t code me 51N. So this is the T code to create the purchase acquisition. I open the T code. Okay, so this is the screen of the purchase acquisition. So we need a material, so we can take any material. So I will take this material. And if I press enter here, the details of the material will load. Now we have to give the plant. So I can select a plant from here. So this is the. So I select uh, this plant. Okay. So I will give the quantity like say 10 quantity and I press enter. So now all the details will be loaded like this is the material, this is the short text, this is the delivery date. We can change the delivery date from here. Suppose we need the delivery at uh, say 31st so we can give 31st here. The material group will load from the material master, the plant we have given, the storage location and the purchase group is coming also from master data. So if you scroll right, there are a lot of other fields here in this item, um, items details, okay. Now here we have account assignment. So if I have, um, I have different account assignment I can choose from. So if my account assignment is um, an asset or a, if, if I want to procure for a cost center or a project, I have to select the relevant codes here. Similarly, in item category if i uh, do an f4 here so if it's a consignment or a standard so a normal procurement is standard procurement so if i have consignment or subcontracting or it's a stock transfer or a third party so i have to select the relevant code from here so in item category i have to select the relevant um, codes here okay so mine is a standard one so it is blank okay now, if I go to the header tab, there are some details which you, you can see in the purchase acquisition header. So we have the header node. So I can type in information or header information, which can be, um, I mean, when I print the purchase acquisition, this uh, information inside the header node will be printed as well. So I can collapse uh, this, this one. So this is the item details. There are different tabs, so I can, um, you know, choose an item. Uh, I can do uh, ascending and descending from here. I can do summation. I have uh, options to export details to, to Excel. I have some default value. So these are some, uh, some options that I have. Now I go to item details, like I have the material. So here we have the materials short, uh, sh uh, material text and the material here the metal group is also loaded here if i go to quantities and dates so i can have 10 quantities so this quantity will come here delivery date is here today we are doing a request so 
it is the requested is today if I scroll down we have planned delivery time so the time to deliver is uh, 10 days so this is coming from material master if I go to valuation I have the valuation price coming from material master as well if I go to source of supply then if I have a fixed vendor or if I have a, you know an info record or a source list maintained it will have the information here it will automatically fetch the information here if I go to status so here um, we can see the purchase order so if I create a purchase order with respect to this PR the details of the purchase order will will be visible in this tab so this is an important tab where you can track the purchase acquisition so any follow-on documents from this purchase acquisition will be will come here so status tab is important for checking the uh, follow-on options the contact person is here okay it's uh, created by uh, whatever the person um, you know the name would, would would come here we have different types of texts which we can maintain here an item text an item note a delivery text a material po text so all sorts of text we uh, we can maintain so click here and maintain it here again delivery text you click and maintain here now if I go to delivery address then this is the um, address where this uh, material will, will come so the details will be here to complete this uh, PR I can uh, have this option this is the check option so if uh, there are any fields missing or if um, the document is not consistent I can check the consistency of the document by clicking here so if I have not uh, given entries for any mandatory fields uh, this check option will tell me that what is missing so once it tells me that um, say plant or quantity is missing then it will prompt me in the screen and I will enter it and again this uh, uh, I can do a check option and this option is important that uh, no message is issued so uh, it should come with a message after check that there are no messages and this is uh, consistent so if you get this message that there is no messages so that means that the, the document is consistent and you can post it okay so I will post the document so I will click on save here document is save I have the details of uh, the purchase requisition here so this is the requisition which has been created now if I want to display information I can copy this here and I can go to this T code so the T code is slash n me 53 n so once I go there the last uh, requisition will load so it should uh, uh, you know I, I go to this one and I paste the details here so once I paste it here I will have all the details so this is the item details the quantity is there the metric group and the storage location is there these are the tabs which um, you know I uh, which is there the valuation tab the source of supply the status so as I told you that the PO will be visible after you create it with respect to this PO so this is the uh, display purchase equation screen so that is all about creating a purchase requisition. So if you have any feedback, share them in the comment section below. Till we meet again next time, you all take care and goodbye.